In this video, we're going to see how to copy content from one course to another. The typical time somebody would need to do this is when they're setting up a course site for a new semester and they want to reuse content from a previous class. So we'll start in the course content area, click the kebab menu, the three dots, and choose copy content. You'll see a list of all the courses you have access to. Most of the time, you're going to want to do a straight copy of everything in a site, so just click the source course, click on copy selected content, and you'll see a spinning progress icon while it's working. The time it takes to complete depends on the size of your course. Most of the time you'll see your copied content start to show up within a minute, but you may need to refresh to see the changes. And here comes the copied content. So it's as easy as that. And if that's all you need to do, you can just go ahead and stop this video now. Okay, if you're still here, I just want to talk about a couple other things. As I said, most of the time when you're doing a course copy, it's going to be a straight copy from one course to another, the entirety of the course. If you want to, though, you can copy more than one course at a time by just checking more than one box and then clicking on Copy Selected Content. You can also copy individual files and folders. If you don't want to copy the entire class, just click on the arrow and that will take you to a directory view. You can click an entire folder full of material or you can drill down even further and copy individual items. Just select whatever you want to bring over and click on Copy Selected Content. Um, copying content it is a completely additive process, so you aren't going to delete or overwrite anything that's already in your site by adding more. If the course you're copying from is in ultra format, the result will basically be an exact copy of the previous course. If the course you're copying from is in original format, things are going to look a little bit different because the ultra course only has the one course content area where original courses usually had several. Start here, documents, modules, and so forth. So if you have multiple content areas in the original course, um, each button area, start here, documents, whatever, will come over as a separate folder in the ultra content area. Finally, there are still a few content types that are supported in all original, but that don't exist in ultra yet. After your copy finishes, you can go back and click the kebab button again and go down to copy details. And this will give you a heads up if there are any issues copying uh, material from the original course. Um, you can click on blog. You can see that none of these were copied over because right now ultra courses don't support the blog content type. As always, if you run into any problems or if you have questions, please contact us in the TLT office. You can either reach out to your school's TLT liaison or you can email us directly at tlt at kumc.edu.